preacher's son versus the coach's son today at quarterback. On first down, play wow. action, and Jenkins is swallowed up back at the 40. He ran out of time. That's 93, Keontae Davis. That is his 12th sack of the year. Is this kid just incredible, guys? You're going to want to watch this guy all day long. Number 93, Keontae Davis, 6'4", 260 pounds. This guy's going to play on Sundays, but he's got a little time left. Still preparing for the game. Second down, they'll try to run to the edge. Got three. They go with his own read. Jenkins to keep. And he's not going to get far enough. Right now, seven up in the box. Jenkins to keep. The winner of this game gets. Serves as the head coach and also offensive coordinator. Oh, quarterback keep into that second line of defense. And it's Denzel. Dad wanted to go with Elijah. It's settled on Eli. Whoa. Jenkins, is the ball loose? It is, but it appears that Jacksonville State has recovered. And that goes for a sack and a loss of four. And, and, and look who it is. Yeah, who else? <laughs> Keonta Davis. He comes from this outside on the right side of the defense and the blind side of the quarterback. And just look how fast he's able to get around. And he's beating a great those five. They're all conference. These guys are outstanding up front. Back to the zone read and nowhere to go. Miles Jones dropped in the second round of the FCS playoffs. Back to the original. 75 catches coming into the day. On a first down, though, back to the ground game, which both Jacksonville State and Mack got to him first, number 89. From Tunnel Hill, Georgia. Jenkins trying to pick up a first down. With man coverage, has got a receiver. At the 40. That's an exciting offense to watch, and they look like they're starting to pick up that pace a bit as well. Pope has got the first down inside the 35. Could be a quick turnaround that both teams would certainly welcome. Jenkins play action. Oh. Got a receiver at the five-yard line who falls down. Since then, they haven't been able to get that pressure onto the quarterback. A pass play intended for Dalton Screws, by the way. This is third and four in the red zone. Jenkins, nice. first down to the five. Boy, that the five-yard line. After the pickup of eight, now looking for a touchdown. Down to the goal line. Well, Miles Jones, 5,400 yards and 64 touchdowns in high school. Not so bad. Jenkins flushed out, shooting to the sidelines. Would have been a tough in 2015 for Eli Jenkins. Gamecocks are three out of five on third down, make it four out of six, and a bullet to the 45-yard line. Time by Eli Jenkins as well. Catch at 23 for a high school valedictorian, Dalton Screws, who was on a mission trip during the past. As well. It's something that I think you really just got to applaud that. Jenkins to Barge. Out of bounds of the 40-yard line at another Screws. Spot at the 42-yard line. Jenkins the keep. And he may have part of the Gamecocks. Looking to make it a two-score lead. That's Dalton Screws. Makes a man miss, knocked out of bounds. Jenkins cutting up field, and he's going to get the first down. He may get more. Jenkins in the end zone, touchdown. We've got a four-receiver set. Barge the outside receiver. It's a zone read for the quarterback, Jenkins. Who piles his away to the 36. Like the taste in their mouth, they want to get some points on the board. Cooper Rulo, their place kicker, is boom one from 48. Jenkins is swallowed up after a gain. Down to 10. Jenkins to the sidelines. Incomplete. We move downfield enough at that point in time. Why risk it? So now you just run the football. And this will end the first half. Well, what an entertaining first half it's been. First half. Pope cutting up the middle and carrying to the 20 yards on that play. That's the difference. They've got to stop those eight and nine yard running plays. Jenkins stepping up, had a receiver at the 45 in the Ohio Valley during the regular season, 43%. Running Pope to the outside, first down into the secondary. Pope still going. We'll have the bracket for you momentarily. I hope you have it memorized. <laughs> we'll be quizzing you on. Bad coverage for Barge oh. on the shoulder catch. And Wannick's in a first down at the 46. 
Jenkins off the zone raid. Out of bounds. Jenkins now 16 carries for 119. That's Miles Jones with his fifth. Jenkins looking down the field for Barge. He got bumped to the 10. Pass interference coming up again. That one moves the football to the 25 yard line of Chattanooga. Miles Jones trying to work his way through. Time for the Gamecocks. Second and seven. Jenkins to keep. This time they surround him. And Leslie's the first guy to meet. Down to 10. Needs to pick up six to the end zone, looking for a touchdown! <laughs> They've got to make more plays than they are, and they're not making those plays, and because of it, Jenkins is just running up and down the field. <laughs> Separate, according to my math. <laughs> it's tremendous. <laughs> looking for Barge, battling D. Virgin every stop, and they're going to get the football. Jenkins keeping, but he wow. didn't get far enough. Oh, in the first... Jacksonville State drive, but since then they have pulled even at 28. Jenkins on the rollout completes a pass. He's just an outstanding receiver, and Eli Jenkins, nice job getting to the outside of the pocket to get that ball out to him. And Pope gets to the outside there, bumped out of bounds. Difficult to stop, but Tennessee Chattanooga's had a few opportunities where they've gotten the ball back, and that's what you need to do. Looking for Gonzalez, he's got it! Previous drive and put themselves in a difficult spot where they got stopped on a third down play. That was a pickup of 34 yards as Pope carried. Amazing. Knees almost touching the ground as he's driving. Little fade route on second and four to the end zone. Picked. And it is picked. In the country. And this is one of the best defensive teams in the country. Pope trying to get some momentum back. Swinging to the outside and doing what he's done. That would have put the Gamecocks up by 21. Jenkins straight ahead and swallowed up. It's a nice downs. The problem has been mistakes and some of the confusion on offense. Here's Jenkins. And he gets very close to a first down. Clearly they've done a nice job getting points on the board all day, but... Well, we've had a drop pass. I wasn't... Keep going there until they can stop it. They'll run it on this one. Big hole! Like that. Hope is going to go to the end zone! First couple of couple of downs gives the Pope he broke one last time or Pope and he's got a first down here he'll carry that ball up the Chattanooga 35 within range of Rulo a couple of drives ago so I wouldn't be afraid to put that ball up in the air he'll do it on play action looking to the sidelines but overshoots Gonzalez by about five state number one in the country on a four receiver set, Jenkins flushed out. And he throws, the ball is caught. Oh. Snap to Jenkins, he'll roll to his left. He's gonna throw on the run with a right hand, got a ran! Oh. Gonzalez! Did he get it? All right, 38 seconds to go back to live action, second and 10 to the sidelines. And that's gonna be a penalty on Fritz, I believe. See if Jenkins calls his own number as he has most of the day. That's scary. Back to the original line of scrimmage and then some with 25 seconds. Five seconds left. Jenkins stepping up, throwing to the sidelines. It's caught. That's going to end regulation now unless he scores. We are going. Any kind of score wins it for the Gamecocks. Jenkins to keep. Jenkins still with the ball inside the 15. Keep it again. Yep. Heading to the end zone. That's a touchdown. Game over.